Hi guys, welcome back to another video. At the end of this video, I'm gonna take you and just show you a little bit um, about how the stylists fixed the house because I've kind of cleaned it now. I'm getting ready for the showing on Sunday. Uh, but first, I would like to share with you my scent of yesterday, my scent of today, um, the scent of the day, and then I'd like to uh, just give you a little recommendation of how you can make a little gift out of your own collection when you're going to someone's house. Uh, I have now, my one of my neighbors, I think, I think it's her birthday, but she didn't really say, but she's having everyone for drinks, like between five and seven tomorrow on Saturday, it's a Saturday. Um, and I just want, you know, something little to bring. So I have this little cute bag and I've put in a number of, of decants, different sizes, and I put a sample in there. And then I've, I've written, um, a little perfume guide for her and that means she's I'm just guessing that she has no clue about niche perfume or you know like she, maybe not maybe she doesn't use perfume at all I don't really know I don't know her that well I mean I know her but I don't know we don't really hang out the two of us anyway um so I've written I made a little mistake there that kind of bugs me but I've kind of written a little guide about each perfume a little bit about you know what notes uh, if I think it's a day or a night perfume if it you know it fits in the summer or in the evening um, so I have some different I'm, I'm gonna go through what I put in there and I just think that it's a really nice way of it's, it's a little time-consuming it does take a while to make them all and to mark them and uh, you know find a cute little uh, presentation um, but it is really appreciated I've done it to to many friends and it's sometimes every now and then one of them will actually get into niche uh, and you know, the, the, they can spread them around. If they don't like a certain fragrance, they can give it to their daughter or their friend or their mother or whatever. It's just a good way to, to try some new things. Um, and um, yeah, it, it feels like a personal, it feels a little bit like a homemade gift, even though it really isn't, but but that's kind of the, the feeling that I get from it. And I really enjoy making these little, these little uh, discovery sets, you might call them. But okay, so my perfume of yesterday came, um, it was an inspiration from this podcast that I've been listening to. It's called Eau de Pod. Uh, if you are Scandinavian, uh, maybe you can listen to them. They're two Swedish women. Uh, so they, it's not in English, unfortunately, but they speak about perfumes like that. They, they do the whole range. It's not just like everything niche, niche and everything obsessed with and stunning and all this. It's, it's stories, it's memories. It's, um, they'll talk about, you know, Demeter fragrance library, and then they'll talk about drugstore perfumes. And then they'll talk about little oils that they found in a market. And then they'll talk about designers and then they'll, they make comparisons. And I just think it's so entertaining. And they brought this up the other day, and this has been in my collection for a while. It is flower by Kenzo. But the way they describe it, I can't remember that they put this in like in the, in the soapy category or something like really strange to me. Um, and then they also said it was a violet suede, which I maybe can agree with a little bit, but I've always thought of it a little bit differently. Um, okay, so I put on like six, seven sprays, maybe six-ish sprays yesterday. And I got invited to a conference by a potential em employer. So I wanted to, you know, feel really put together and I wanted something that would last all day and that I think is sort of a people pleaser, nothing too odd because we were all kind of crammed together. Um, it was a lot of like sitting, listening to different speakers on stage. And then I also got the chance to talk to um, the CEO of this company um, that might, you know, have a position for me and also a few other people from the company. Anyway, I felt really well perfumed all day. And also at night I dropped into uh, a bachata class, a dance class, and someone gave me a really good compliment for this ICC. He said, I really love your perfume. It's a total stranger. I'd never seen him before because um, I just came with a friend to her dance class and she, she asked if I could join. Um, but it's okay. It's To me, this smells like it is, this is a, it's a niche uh, quality perfume, although it is a designer. It was created by Alberto Marias and one more person. Let's see if I wrote that down. Let's see. Yeah, his name is Christian Desoulier. So I guess some French guy. Um, and I don't know, the notes, I don't want to just list the notes, but it's, it basically, it has rose and violet. I wouldn't have been able to pick out the violet, but it's definitely incense. Incense and vanilla. It's an incense vanilla floral fragrance, but there's also, it also has some kind of, um, um, I don't know, it's just so satisfying. Let's see what else it is. It has musk in the base. It has hawthorn. I don't really know what that is in fragrance and black currant, and I don't get any of that. 
Um, it's just really a really good incense-y, smoky, vanilla floral fragrance that will keep you well-perfumed all day long. And I just really, really like it. And I think it's kind of fun that master perfumer Natalie Lorson got the question in an interview, what perfume did you, do you wish that you had created? And she mentioned this one. It's, it's not completely unlike Cideris from Maria Candida Gentil. That one's a little bit maybe more oily. Um, it's, they're different, but they're kind of in the same kind of vanilla uh, incense category. So that was yesterday's very successful uh, perfuming. And then today, uh, also because of these girls in the pod, they mentioned this fragrance. This is Bote Bottega Veneta from, uh, it's the, the um, this is what it looks like. Let's see if you can get that. It's the EDP for women. It has a cute little, the, you see the bottom is very nice. I'm, I'm looking to get uh, a full bottle because I just, I went on for Grantic and I saw that there was some discussion about this being discontinued. I can't see any traces of that. It is not um, marked as discontinued on uh, Parfumo, they usually say. And I've, I see it all over on sale, at least. Um, and for not that, you know, the, for a pretty good price. So, and now I found someone who's selling it secondhand, so I think I'm gonna go for it because I only have like four milliliters left. But this is, um, this is a really nice feminine leather I mean, I, I would say maybe the fragrance leans a little masculine, but it's it's floral, it's a little earthy, it's leathery, it's a little woody. Um, let's see what's in here. Uh, it has oak moss in the base. I don't know if I would have been able to say, but maybe that earthiness is coming from there. It has patchouli in the base, jasmine in the mid, uh, and then it has pink pepper and bergamot. It's just a, a really, I mean, it does have a little bit of a makeup-y vibe, maybe. Oh, that leather is so... It's like it smells like a luxury handbag, and that's kind of what Bottega Veneta is all about, right? They, I know they make like a, they make all kinds of accessories, they make furniture. It's a lot about the leather, so I think this is a really good like symbol for what they do. Uh, and I mean, the rest of their stuff is like super, super pricey. I mean, most people probably could never get anything from there, but you can afford a perfume because um, the perfume's not that bad. And I'm very surprised that they would take this away from the market. This is their original perfume, like the first one that came. Um, beautiful fragrance. The perfumer is Michel Almayrak. Never heard of him, but this is the EDP. Love this fragrance. My my um, memory of this fragrance is that I've mostly smelled this on a man. One of my mentors, um, a very rich man from the Middle East, uh, wore always wore this, and I didn't dare ask him what what perfume he was wearing like until I'd known him for at least a decade. Then I found out. So I kind of. For me, the association is more like a masculine fragrance because he doesn't care if to buy a perfume in the in the you know the female section, um, which I think is is kind of interesting. But uh, you would think maybe that like an Arab man would be really into like buying masculine fragrance or marketed to towards men fragrances, but he doesn't care if he likes it, he buys it. Anyway, okay, so I'll tell you a little bit more about what I put into. Um, oh, by the way. Um, I just wanted to say that this Bottega Veneta is a little bit similar to Iris Prima. And I think this one has been discontinued, but it also has that nice soft leather, like suede. Even this label is made from suede. I, this is one of my absolute favorite fragrances, if I had not already said that. Okay, I'll tell you a little bit about what I put into this little packet here. Um, yeah, I don't even have to, I don't have to look at my notes. I, I mean, I know these by heart so well. Okay, so this, the, the first one um, that I thought of to put uh, for my neighbor. Um, I think she might be turning 50. I'm not sure. She's a little younger than I am. Or maybe she'll be, uh, she, maybe she turned 50 last. I can't remember. Anyway, um, no, I think maybe she's, I think she'll be 40. I don't know. She's anyway younger than I am. Anyway, she, this one is um, a Granada from Memo, one of my first niche fragrances. This one is just incredibly beautiful. I've loved this for so many years, but I've a little bit grown out of it. It's it's maybe a little bit too easy to like. It's like orange blossom, vanilla, pomegranate. I wouldn't have been able to say pomegranate, but there's something a little bit girly, fruity in there. A little bit powdery. Maybe it has heliotrope. It's really, really good. Pretty sweet. Maybe a little bit too sweet for my taste, the way I feel about it now. Like, But I think what I'll do is, because I, it's such an easy like, is that I'll... I'll 
I'll split it up for friends. You know, I have still like maybe 20 milliliters left and I'll bring them to parties and uh, just spread them to my friends. And I think they'll really, really enjoy these. Then I had a sample of Marfa from the same, from Memo Paris as well. I put the sample in there too. That's kind of more of a jasmine, jasmine, I don't know if it has jasmine, but it's like a white floral tuberose fragrance. Um, a little bit sharp. It opens up a little bit sharp. And I, for me, it's a little bit too white floral. There are better white florals than that one, but it's really, really nice. And I know a lot of people that are not into perfume would really love Marfa. I really, really liked it back in the day. Then I put in kind of a little bit more of a challenging fragrance. This is marketed towards men. And this is um, Terrific Oud Extreme by, by Terry or Terry Gunsberg that also make makeup. I'm not sure that this is still available. But this is a, this is kind of like a, a rose, or this is an oud fragrance. It's oud and it has rose and saffron and leather, I think. But it's, it's, it's very, a very dreamy, smooth, evening type fragrance that would, it's, I think it just goes down the middle. It's unisex for sure. It just happens to be marketed towards men. And I think, isn't that bottle something? I don't wear it a whole lot. And I really don't know why, because I really like it. Just, I, have, I have too many fragrances. This one, I think I've, I've also split kind of a lot of it. I don't know if you see how much I've got like this much left, like 40%, something like that. I gave her a small one of that one. I'm not sure that she'll like it, but it'll be something new for her to try. Then I actually did split my little tiny travel size of Love Don't Be Shy. And I, I don't want to get rid of this because I really think it's something special, but it's very sweet and I never really use it. Um, but it's very strong. I mean, it's kind of a little bit, it has something in common with Granada. They're both kind of heavy orange floral, orange flower fragrances. But this is um, definitely, I get the marshmallow vibe. It's caramel, it's sugar, it's vanilla. It's, um, I think there's like honeysuckle in here. It's very floral. It's a classic. I mean, this is a very famous fragrance. It'll be fun for her to try. Um, and it goes a long way. I mean, this must be an X-ray. And if it's not an X-ray, let's see if it is or not. Is it an EDP? Let me see. I can't see without my... Let's see if I can get this. I can't... I don't even know if it's an EDP or not. But it feels like an X-ray for sure. It's an EDP. It's an EDP. But it's really, really strong. And they've even made a new one called, you know, an extreme version of this. I don't really see why they would have to do that. Because this, this has really, really... It's really loud. And you don't need a lot. You can just like dab it on. Okay, and then next I put in a fiver of Heliotrope Blanc from LT Piver. I don't know if you're familiar with this fragrance. It's an old classic from France. Um, it was created or it was launched in 1850. Um, and it's a very powdery, fresh, floral heliotrope fragrance that kind of gives me a little bit the vibe of laundry, but it's more floral than that. It's kind of really fresh but powdery it's, it's it, a real easy wear it doesn't last forever it's an edt but it's a perfect you know get right out of the shower and just kind of shower in this stuff very very pretty then i have my uh one of my staples in my collection uh infusion iris i have a 200 ml bottle that's why i can share it um this is a kind of a white linen i don't mean white linen like estee lauder i mean uh, laundry type of fragrance. It's some people say they this is like a meditation fragrance. It's so calming. It's so it's morning. It, it's just like no one would dislike this. It's kind of a it, it's not like a dry papery iris. It's more of a there's a slight sweetness. What could it be? I think maybe Ben from Benzwin perhaps. It has neroli, uh, man, uh, mandarin from Italy. Yeah, Benzwin too. And that there's a slight woodiness in the base. It's really, really pretty. I, I think definitely she'll like it. And I have enough to share still, even though I'm like half out. It's, um, I wear that, you know, ever so often. And here's one that I also put in a little bit of, even though I have such a tiny bottle. It's because I don't wear it. And I, I, it, I, I don't wear it. Um, this is all natural. This is Laura Lay from En Voyage Perfumes from um, the United States. I think she's Californian, Shelley Waddington, the perfumer. Um, but it is so incredibly beautiful, this fragrance. This is like a summer night. It's like super natural. It's all natural ingredients. And you can really tell in this case. It's like you're walking home on a summer night and like trees give off kind of like a floral puff, like of, 
of sweet nectar or something. It's just like, oh, I do, I do, I use it a lot and I don't put it on my skin, but I stand at night and sniff it before I go to bed. Like it's because I think it's incredible, the experience. So I, I don't, I never want to get completely rid of it, but I don't need to have a full bottle because I don't use it. This little bottle is like 15 mil. And I think she still only char charges uh, 60 bucks for this. And I know my friend paid that like 15 years ago. So she's like, hasn't raised her prices, which I find pretty interesting. Maybe she has now, like just recently. But when I checked like a year or two ago, it was still $60 for this little bottle. Super, super, super beautiful. Um, but I guess I'm just not into super, super beautiful fragrances. I need more of a something dirty in there, something that I have to work with, something challenging. But this is perfect for a little for the little little gift bag. So I am all set to go to my party. I think I got them all now. Yeah, I think I've talked about all of them. But I think it's a great little idea uh, to give something personal if you have the time. I mean, especially if you're sitting with, you know, 100 mil bottles and you have, you know, more than 50 bottles in your collection, you'll never use them all. Uh, you're never gonna run out of perfume. Um, but I mean, I keep circling mine, circling mine out, you know, like I don't, these have been in my collection for quite a while, all of these actually. No, this one is new from last summer, Heliotrope Blanc. Um, but I've had, I mean, this one I've had for four years. This one I've had for four years, I think. Um, some of these other ones, maybe not, but uh, they're just, m many of them are just standing there. You know, I don't use them, not even monthly, so uh, why not share? So that's my, um, my recommendation for today. Share your collection with others. Okay, that's all for today, guys. Nope, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I'm going to take you to um, a, a, different, a few different rooms in the house. I needed to charge my battery. That's why I saved it for last. Okay, my, my kitchen's a little bit, little bit messed up because, you know, we have to cook and everything. But uh, here, I'm going to see if you can see here behind me. You see, that looks very catalog-ish with a nice white rug under. Um, and what she's done, we used to have purple curtains here. She's kind of made it, you know, they put in the curtains, the white ones, to kind of like brighten up the whole room. And I really think it makes a difference, you know. It looks a little bit bigger and airier, and it's not as personal, perhaps. Oh, there's my cat, too. You can see here. This one we messed up a little bit already. And I think that, like that dark... Let's see if I can get this. This is a, was a little bit difficult. That dark uh, blanket there is our own because we're not trying to not use their stuff, you know. And um, we got to keep, there. We this, these are actually my own curtains. And then she she let me keep my paintings. And here is the piano. There she's put. We had some IKEA lamps there. She's put some some more artsy stuff there. And then there's my dining room area. This one will be, oh, I've taken away the tablecloth. It's thrown over a chair because we wanted to sit there and use it. She's put up that painting there. I don't know about that sailboat, but I just decided to trust these people, you know, that I'm not, I'm no expert. But the rug, see if I can get the rug here from a distance, makes a huge difference to just sit there and, and, uh, and eat and put your foot down on some. It, it, looks, it adds to coziness a lot. And that plant in the corner is kind of a rented plant as well. And here I have like a little fl flower room and she's put up, they put up some like just kind of neutral colored paintings. They threw in these chairs here, very lightweight chairs and some, a really cozy lamp over there. It's not on right now. And that, let's see, the, that flower goes up on the shelf there, but it's hard to water it. You get the idea. She's like, they've, um, they've lifted the place by, you know, adding, um, Maybe this is really Scandinavian to you. I don't know. Um, like it's very, there's not there's not a lot of stuff. Um, there's more like they've used they they put in more white stuff than I had. They replaced you know like a like a brownish kind of bedspread with with something lighter, uh, lighter cushions, lighter curtains, more lighting in general. So I mean it's I, I've enjoyed it. I've, I really enjoy not having so much stuff. I went up there on that thing. She's also put. They put, you see, like a candle holder. And on the wall over here, there's like a flower that wasn't there before. You know, little stuff like that. So I still don't have any bids on the house. It's kind of, I'm kind of in that uncertain. I really hope that the bidding will get going soon because it's really hard not to know like where we're going. But I'm just trying to live, you know, take one day at a time. 
um, and you know there'll, there'll be some some place for us to buy that it'll it'll work out and if not we'll rent something or we'll move in with my parents I don't know what will happen but anyway okay guys that was all for today happy weekend for to all of you